Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Aegean and here's some of the top stories we have for you tonight. An earthquake levels Haiti. We'll tell you how you can help. West Mall concludes his Red Hot special called Where Are the Weapons Coming From? And is it voodoo or a new way to prepare chicken? These stories and more are up next on News Channel 8. top story tonight, a deadly earthquake has devastated Haiti. News Channel 8's Wes Small files this report. Thanks a lot, Jerome. Very distressing and disturbing news from our brothers and sisters in Hispaniola and Haiti. I'm standing here now with the executive director of the American Red Cross uh, right here for St. Croix, Mr. Benjamin Mashila. We are going to get right to it, uh, just in case you just woke up or you haven't been watching news yesterday afternoon a 7.0 plus earthquake devastated Haiti the Capitol building hospital Port-au-Prince thousands feared dead you're watching video now of very sad pictures of children being pulled out of rubble it's just devastating we are here to try to do our best as typical cruisians we are ready for the call. Uh, we are going to try to do what we can. We have numbers here for you and some information. Thank you, Mr. Mashila. Please uh, get out what you want to say here. Oh, well, first of all, I just want to express our gratitude for the great response that we're getting from the uh, people of the Virgin Islands, both St. Thomas, uh, St. Croix, Water Island, and also St. John. And uh, just extend um, uh, our uh, thoughts, thoughts, and thoughts and prayers to the people of Haiti for the um, a devastating earthquake that has hit it. But now, I want to stop you there because the first thing that we're going to look at is how are the people of the Red Cross doing that are based in Haiti. So we do have people uh, from the American Red Cross that are based in Haiti full time. So that's what we want to focus on first. How are your people doing? Well, we're happy to hear that uh, the American Red Cross in Haiti all the people are safe. Thank God. And they have experience in dealing with such a disaster. Thank Going God. back what has happened there in the past. So they are on the ground and what they need at the moment with the assistance is not for people to go there and assist as volunteers at the moment. What is required is financial assistance. And we are appealing to the community uh, to provide donation and there are several ways you can be able to donate to the American Red Cross and I'm just going to direct you in which way we're going to do it. Yes, sir. Now, for those who have um, American citizens in, in, in Haiti, you can contact the State Department. Yes, I'm going to give you that number. Yeah, let me do that. Uh, I can spit it out a little faster. State Department at 1-888-407-4747. If you have loved ones, that you haven't heard from that are based in Haiti that you could call the United States the State Department at 1-888-407-4747 let me give out the other numbers if you want to contact the Red Cross 1-800-RED-CROSS 1-800-RED-CROSS 1-800-257-7575 that is the Red Cross one more time 1-800-257-7575 on the computer, www.redcross.org, www.redcross.org. Another one for Haiti, particular, www. Small letters, Haiti support.org, www. Small letters, Haiti support.org. Go ahead, right. sir. Thank you very much, yeah. and uh, we. At the moment, we're, again, we're not accepting, uh, we're not receiving any um, materials from the Red Cross. Food, mostly clothes, food. Mm. volunteers. Not now. Not now. First, they want to get the people out of the rubble, absolutely. and they need cash. Cash, cash, absolutely. Financial support. So please uh, donate, and if you have any questions, you're free to stop by at the chapter. All of our people are available to be able to provide any further information. And look uh, who's concerned also. I told you, it's it's, it's something. When, when uh, duty calls, Cruisians run to the plate, and, and yeah, he's a volunteer. This is our Lieutenant Governor, uh, Greg Francis, and this is why I'm here, sir. Uh, when we heard these devastating uh, news about Haiti, you know, it could be us. And that poor island, they've had floods, torrential rain, hurricane out, you know. Lieutenant Governor, I hope you'll be very happy to see that I've 
uh, come here, and this executive director here, Benjamin Masila, he is right on it. We already put out all the numbers, so you know your constituents and, and, and your people can help. But I know you have something to say. I read a quote from the governor um, that you know you guys want everyone to pray uh, right. for those people. So I know you want to get your your words in. So well, that's, uh, first, I'd like to say good morning, and, and it's true we need to pray for the, the folks in Haiti. They've been through a lot, but I'm here to the Red Cross today because I'm a volunteer also. Yeah. And I need to know what role I need to play. Not because I'm the Official lieutenant governor. Capacity, yes, exactly. Sir. But I'm a volunteer with the Red Cross. But what we need to, um, I guess, some organization on the Red Cross deal with it on a national and level. The churches, and the churches, you know they're going to help. But more than likely, they're going to have someone stepping forward, whether it's the, uh, the shipping company. But we all need to rally in, as one. We don't need to have multiple distribution points like, for the same purpose. If we, whether we want to designate the Red Cross or Sunny Hills, or whether since we've close to Sunny Hills, if we have a central location, whether it's Frederick said, Christian said, St. Thomas, but let's rally together as a unit. Thank it shouldn't you. be doing it individually, but we need to pray for those folks in Haiti. Yeah, thank you. You and Cheryl got wings waiting for y'all. Would stop the bleeding, the way you volunteer. That's right. Hey, man, thank you. I'm, I'm so glad that I'm a part of this. I feel so good. Y'all make me feel good. I got chills, you know, because I got to tell you something, man. So go me today, so go you tomorrow. All it takes is an act of God and we could all be butt naked and barefoot, just like that. Remember, everything is temporary and it could all stop in a minute's notice. Let's give what we can to these people. They need us. Thank you very much, the Lieutenant Governor and the Executive Director. We're at the American Red Cross and they're doing all they can to help our sisters and brothers in Haiti. Thumbs up. I love you guys, man. Thank you. Make my job easy. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8.